So I want to ask, obviously, especially in this day and age, life is so unpredictable. Um, Obviously, we don't know who you're going to meet, who's going to step out of the limo. I mean, we know some of the guys, but we don't know who you'll end up with ultimately at the end. Um, So in your perfect world, envisioning a couple months down the road, you're with the man of your dreams. What does that look like? And what's your hopeful happy ending here? A happy ending to me obviously would be staying true to myself. And I think that's key to say, because I think a lot of people have said in the past, like, how many shows have you been on? Or how many times are you going to do this? And you, oh, this is, you've already had four tries at this. And when I say being true to myself, that means loving myself first. And if that means there's no man at the end for me, that means there's no man at the end for me. But if they're hopefully in my best, um, ideal situation would be the man of my dreams is there and we can walk away and it not be, we can honestly just go back into normal life. Mm -hmm. Um, I've always said, and I told, I told Mike Feist and them this in the very beginning, I'm not here to be famous as weird as this is because it is a TV show. Um, I love my job and I love my life here and, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I want a man that I can bring back into that life that will go on a Friday night to the nursing home with me to visit my mom. And that will be after dinner going on the walks with my dog and not care about anything other than finding that happiness like that I'm looking for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so important. And it's so refreshing to hear. I mean, you never know how this is going to, ta- where this is going to take you and who you're going to end up with and where you may move or where you may stay or how your career path may end. But it's so nice to hear you say, I just want a man who's going to fit into my life and I'm not trying to do this for whatever. Now, Claire, should an opportunity present itself, take it. (laughs) Take it. (laughs) But, but I, but I'm not taking away from what you're saying. I totally know what you mean by that. And I love that you said that and the people need to hear that. And that is why like you guys, I don't, I feel like people have such short term memory. Claire, they were asking for you without even calling you by name. Like Becca and I were doing podcasting in these other seasons before and the audience has just been so frustrated with what we've seen and the type of lead that they have been requesting all the things they say that they want you have. So I know we're excited to watch your season and they are too. I feel Mm -hmm. like, okay, I feel like we just completed the first 30 minutes of your season because you know how it's like the bachelorette talk and it's giving advice. Like, Mm -hmm. I feel like I should be like, and that's a wrap. (laughs) (laughs) 